word is when somebody like you's in the building. Place on fire, I'm so lit. You're just it. You're all I want. Kicking back for a minute. Hello, hello, it's Shara. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to review Canon IV2 mini photo printer. So two years ago, I uploaded a video reviewing Canon IV mini photo printer, which was the first generation. And one of the viewers has informed me that they just released the second generation. So after seeing that comment, I just went online and ordered it right away. I ordered mine from Target because at that time, I think it was last week, Amazon didn't have it yet, but I just checked now and they do have it. Target has a retail for $99. Amazon, $99 as well. It says that it's on sale. It was originally $129, but I don't know if that's true because Target just says $99. I mean, 100 basically. Talk about a little bit of background story. Two years ago, I was looking for a mini photo printer. I started off with the Polaroid Mint and I didn't like it, so I was just in search of a good one. I tested out a few models. It turned out that Canon IV mini photo printer was the best. So now that it came out with the second generation, I'm super excited to test it out and see if there's any difference and if it's worth it to get a second generation or is the first generation good enough. These type of mini photo printers use zinc sticky backed photo paper and zinc is zero ink so you don't need ink you just put it into your device and you can print you can peel off the back the photo itself is a sticker so you can stick it onto your journal or onto your wall you know onto your laptop or onto your fridge whatever you want let's let's open this i haven't opened it i i got it a few days ago so this second generation just came out this month october 2022 um, today is October 19th, so it literally just came out. Hmm? Oh, it opens like this. So you have to download this app right here, the Canon Mini Print, in order to um, print. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, I've shown in the previous videos that you can decorate your photos in this app before you print. So this is what it looks like. It's heavier, I feel like, but it's pretty. It comes in two different colors, white and rose gold, kind of like pink, muff pink, kind of like my couch's color. So two different colors. I chose the white one. I guess you put your photo there, so this is like a little frame. Two little ones. Oh, and in the back, it's a butterfly. Not important. And it gives you a charger without the adapter. And also zinc paper, 10 pieces. That is all in this box. Not a lot, but it's all that we need. So the charger they use now is USB-C. The first generation, they use the the regular charger. <laughs> I don't know what it's, I don't know what that's called, but it's the one that you've seen everywhere. Um, the previous generation of the USB-C, I guess it's just, uh, I don't know. Okay. Anyways, I think they're trying to move forward and change everything to USB-C now. And, uh, I'm pretty screwed. I'm going to charge it real quick. I am back. This is what it looks like. The power button is here and this is where you charge it. It says Canon here and this is where the photo comes out. Okay, so you kind of like slide it up and that's how you open it. And this is what it looks like inside. I don't want you to bend or touch the paper. Right, let's open this up. So just grab it like this. The blue sheet has to face down. Just like this, pat in gently. Okay, close it back up, push it down, and slide it back. That's all. When the camera was off, I tried turning this on, and the blue sheet came out already off camera. So, just letting you know, once you turn this on right here, 
Okay, so I've pressed it down for like three seconds and you're gonna see the lights blinking right here. Once you do that, this blue sheet is gonna come out. Let's start printing. The first generation, I'm gonna check to see if it's the same thing. You slide it like this, open it, and there's nothing inside. The blue sheet facing down. Okay, so the light is on. That means it's on, it's blinking. So now the newer version, it's blinking like this. And for the first generation, they have the tiny little light right here. So that is the difference. Side by side. Thickness. pretty much the same size. The new one is a tiny little bit thicker um, and it's just like one color versus this one is like white and rose gold. Let's start printing. Okay, so you want to click on this, choose your device plus and we're going to select. I don't know which is which. Is this one? I'm not sure which one this is. Oh, this one is the old one because the new one turned it off already. <laughs> if you don't use it for a little, it's gonna turn it off on its own. These are the photos I want to print. I picked out some photos with different colors, different lighting. Also, I picked out one night mode to see if the quality is good so tapped on that and on this page you can edit your photos so many different stickers down here if you want to add them filters you can also rotate and add the frames many frames that you can choose from for example something like this oh you can add a border too i might be into this like a white border or you can change color to like a purple border. So let's just print. Oh, I forgot about a blue sheet. Maybe. Okay, so for the old generation, the blue sheet comes out when you hit print. Um, okay, so now it's printing. Ooh, the quality is good. I love it. This is the night mode. I love it. Shoot, why is it printing again? Oh no, I don't know what I did. Maybe because I pressed it twice. I'm gonna mark it. This is the first generation. I'm gonna write one. I'm going to print the rest of the photos with the first generation printer and I'll get back to you with the second printer because I don't want to switch the Bluetooth, like the connections. Okay, so I just printed all 10 pictures at once and I ran out of paper. You remember, I accidentally printed out one extra one. There are only 10 in one pack. The app is going to tell you that you don't have papers anymore, which is good. Let's try out the second generation and see the difference. I'm very curious because now that I'm looking at these photos, they look amazing. Besides, maybe like one is a little bit darker, but we'll talk about that later. Overall, the quality is still amazing. I haven't printed the photos in a while now, to be honest, because I recently moved and yeah, so seeing these again makes me really happy. You want to click on plus, find a device and just uh, connect. Also, you can print pre-cut stickers so like the circular ones or whatever i've never done that before so i'm not sure i think you have to order stickers and perhaps you can put it in the device as well that's very cool so if i want it i can just print out kiki kiki's face and stick on somewhere so i will have kiki and pixie stickers cool maybe i'll try that one day <laughs> Okay, so I was off camera for about 10 minutes trying to figure out why I couldn't print. And I restarted my phone, still couldn't print. I was like, oh, okay, I need to update the app. And yep, there was an update. So I updated the app and this is what it looks like. 
if you click here these are all the devices i have connected before okay yes it's printing now so yeah i had to update to the newest version okay it's printing once it's printing this um it's gonna blink rainbow lights <laughs> I noticed that it's not as loud as the first generation but just by a little bit though I have some thoughts but I'm not gonna talk about it right now but this is what it looks like for the second generation. I'm going to write down two. It also tells you on the side how much battery your device has. Oh my god, I can't wait to share my thoughts with you guys. Before I printed the second photo, my battery was at 91% and now the second photo is out, my battery is at 84%. Does one photo the battery drops so much? What? I don't know, but let's keep printing and hopefully I can print out everything before the device dies. I printed out all 10 photos with the second generation. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but if you want to turn on and off of the device, you want to hold it down. Press it down until the light goes off. And when you turn it on, press it down until the light goes on. Don't just like press it once, it's not gonna do anything. I'm actually pretty surprised by the results. Where do I begin? The left side is going to be from the first generation and the right side is the second generation. The first generation is definitely more accurate. Based on what I see on my phone screen, this is more accurate. This, I don't know if you can see, the yellow backpack. The saturation is a little bit higher than this, which is not accurate. But for the stairs, I think this one looks more accurate. This one has a red tone on the stairs for some reason. Next, we have Kiki here. Again, I think the first generation looks more accurate than the second generation. This is the original photo. And the second generation definitely has a yellow tone all over. It seems like they're trying to achieve the old filmed effect. So they threw on a yellow filter. That is not what I'm looking for. Next, this picture is very interesting. This is the original. As you can tell, the first generation turned out pretty badly. It's very yellow and green-ish. I don't know why. The first generation IV has never done this to me. I've never seen something so different from the original photo. Even from the past, from the old video, I've never seen something like this. Surprisingly, the second generation turned out a little bit better, but as you can tell, it's still not accurate. Um, it's a lot yellower, darker compared to what you see on my phone. But this one is pretty obvious. The first generation is more accurate. Um, it does look a little bit different through my camera, but when I'm seeing it in person, this one is more accurate for sure. It's a little bit more red compared to my original photo on my phone. It's very easy to tell when you look at the sky. This one, it seems like it has a yellow filter again to create that old film look, which is interesting. It's not bad. I would say for this photo, I like both. Just depends on what you're looking for. I'm very proud of this photo that I took. This was taken at the Little Island, close to Chelsea Market. This one is very obvious. First generation is super accurate, at least in person. The sky is a little bit more purplish compared to the real photo, but they're very similar in person. This one, however, it's very different. It has a yellow filter on again. It looks like an old photo, which is an interesting look. If you like that look, go for it. I definitely like the first generation. You guys know me. I like the accuracy. Okay. Next, this is more accurate and this is more yellow. So for this one, the top one is the first generation. So the second generation is again, more yellow. Same thing with this photo through my camera lens 
they all look different, but in person, these two are definitely more similar. Again, when it comes to accuracy, the first generation wins. The second generation looks yellowish. Let me know in the comments, which color do you guys like more? My graduation photo, I really like this photo. For this photo, it's super obvious. You can tell that these two are the same. Do you see the texture on the wall? The first generation shows exactly that. You can still see the texture on the wall. However, the second generation seems like they blurred out the background. You can barely see the texture on the wall. And also I feel like overall, it's just like not as sharp. So I feel like they probably blurred out a lot. And it's also more yellowish. Personally, I like the first generation a lot more because of the photo accuracy. It's a lot closer to the photos I see on my phone. Honestly, I'm pretty disappointed with the IV2 because I thought maybe the accuracy is gonna get better, um, but it's not. I feel like they're doing this on purpose. I feel like they're trying to create that vintage vibe, like those vintage films. And if that's what they're trying to achieve, congratulations, they did a good job, but that's not what I'm looking for. But I understand, I feel like some people might like that, just not me personally, because I'm very specific when it comes to photo editing. Like I like the certain tone, I like the way I like it. So I would edit my photos on my phone. I want it to be printed exactly like that. I don't want any adjustment that's out of my control, you know what I mean? I was also disappointed because I thought IV2 would be higher quality, like higher clarity, but instead it kind of blurred out even more because they want to create that, I am assuming they want to create that vintage look. Not only that they threw on a yellow filter, but it also kind of blurred out to create that look. You know, back in the days, so nothing is very clear, which makes some people look better. Like my mom really likes Polaroid photos because um, when you take a Polaroid photo, it kind of flashes on your face and your face is very pale, which means you're not gonna see any wrinkles. But yeah, I was hoping IV2 would improve their clarity. I'm not saying their clarity is bad for the first generation. It's still pretty good, but I thought that was the direction they're going for. It can always be better. Currently, I'm very satisfied with the first generation. Hopefully in the future, they will improve the first generation by increasing um, the accuracy and the clarity. I can't say which one is better. I feel like they're very different. And personally, Canon IV-1 is still the winner in my heart. Um, Canon IV2 is for those people who want that vintage vibe. The old films, the old photos, that nostalgic look. So yeah, here's your answer. I will also calculate the real life printing time and put it in the front because you know, I have to see that when I'm editing so you can see which one prints faster. You already passed that if you're watching this part right now. What else is to talk about? Um, this one photo right here, I really like. However, this photo doesn't look good when it's printed out. Surprisingly, I like the second generation more. But I don't know because I didn't edit this photo. The photographer did and I don't know if it's the way he edited it, but it's okay because I love that photo digitally. I'm a hundred percent certain if I bring that digital photo to Taiwan, I can print it out with a hundred percent accuracy at a professional like photography place. Um, yeah, Taiwan is very good at printing photos and it's not like here. That's why I seek out for this tiny little printer so I can print them myself. Another thing I want to mention is that these tiny photos, people have realized that too, not just me. It's very flat when I first print them out, but it's been like, what, maybe half an hour now? It started to bend and as time goes, it's gonna bend like this, but it won't curl up anymore. It's just gonna curl up about this much. Personally, I don't mind it at all because back home I have many little albums. I will link them down below if you're interested. I got them in Taiwan and, and on Amazon too. Once you put them into the albums, that won't be a problem anymore. Or once you stick onto your journal, that won't be a problem anymore. But if you want it to like hang them on the wall with the clips, that might be a problem, just letting you know. Or you have to like do two clips, so like one on the top and one on the bottom. 
or just stick it on your wall, you know? That's the only downside for these little photos. If you watch one of my old videos, I actually have an updated version. People were asking whether the color would fade over time, and the answer is no. It's been two years now since my first video, and the colors are still the same. I have never peel it off and stick it onto a journal. Maybe I should try that. And next year, I'll let you know how well it sticks on a journal. <laughs> let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions at all. I will read through all of them and answer all of them like I always do, pretty much always do. And I'll also link everything down below, the devices, first and second generation, zinc papers, albums, everything we mentioned today. I will link everything down in my description box, so be sure to check it out if you're interested. And yeah, I hope this helps and that help you decide which one you're getting. Now that the second generation is out, the first generation is like... A little bit cheaper if i remember correctly it's like ten dollars cheaper so if you're like me you like how accurate this printout then go for the first generation if you like the nostalgic old film look then get the new one the second generation all right guys i really hope this helps and don't forget to subscribe turn on my post notifications and follow me on instagram thanks for watching bye so tired i'm so tired I can't believe I didn't charge. I might just have to film this another day because I have to leave. I have to leave soon for my facial appointment. Oh my gosh. I basically did this makeup for nothing. All right, at least we should probably take a thumbnail photo. <laughs> well, I can't keep my cool, come get it. Let's turn in, turn lights out, play fight now. Oh, oh.